Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this lab we're going to be taking a look at Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, EIGRP. Specifically within EIGRP, we're going to take a closer look at filtering routes using distribute lists. Specifically in this example, we're going to be using prefix lists within our distribute list command to filter routes in EIGRP. If you viewed our RIPLAB 6, RIPLAB 6 is where, or I'm sorry, RIP version 2, lab 6 is where we were doing filtering with distribute lists as well. However, in that example, we were using access control lists to do that. In this lab, though, I want to show you an alternative to ACLs, which is prefix lists, and I can, I want to show you guys a couple of features within the distribute lists feature that we can use the prefix lists for. So what we'll do here is we'll use EIGRP. I'm sorry, we're going to be using EIGRP in this lab to show you how you can filter routes in EIGRP using the distribute lists by referencing prefix lists that we create within our router. So what we have here is a simple EIGRP topology. We have router 1, 2, and 3. They're all on the 172.16.123.0 slash 24 network. So they're all connected to the switch. They're all in the same VLAN. And as you can see on router 1, we have loopback 10, which is the 10 network. Router 2 has loopback 20, which is the 20 network. And router 3 has loopback 30, which is the 30 network. Also, also what I'll do here for our labs, for one of our examples with prefix lists filtering, we'll just create a loopback of, uh, let's see, loopback 9 on both router 2 and 3. And we are going to show you how you can filter using a prefix list, how you can filter within EIGRP, specifically here in this example, how you can filter, you know, a network specifically from one of your 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 peer, one of the routers that you're peering with, with your routing protocol. Specifically in this example, it's going to be from a uh, a neighbor. So we're going to be with our adjacency maybe to router 3 is what we will show you how to deny this you know this network from coming in. So okay so let's go ahead and get I'm going to go ahead and get the routers configured so I'll be just give me one second and then I'm going to pause the video now and I'll be back in one second. Okay, so I, I'm back. I got the routers up and running. So let's go ahead into the routers here. Router 1, as you can see, all these routers are using its fast Ethernet zero, 0 interfaces to connect to the switch. So it's going to make configuration here pretty simple. So we'll go under, under interface fast Ethernet zero, 0 on router 1. We'll do the IP address 172.16.123.1 slash 24. We'll go ahead and do a no shut here. And then we'll go ahead and bring up interface loopback 10. We'll do an IP address of 10.0.0.1 slash 24. We'll go ahead and enable EIGRP process 1. Then we'll go ahead and do a no auto summary to disable summarization on classical network boundaries. That's why we do no auto summarization. And next here, what we're going to do is configure our network command. So we'll do 172.16.123.1, 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 so this is a host mask. This is going to just run the AIGRP process on the interface with this IP address. Also, we'll just do the 10 network 
for simplicity.